Hi, my name is Carla. I am a registered nurse. And for this video, I thought it would be fun to talk about unit conversions, but look at them visually. So some of my students, when they are doing unit conversions, they don't understand why is the number for the biggest unit so small and the number for the smallest unit so large. And the way I like to explain it is in terms of filling a container with units that are teeny tiny versus filling a container that is with really large units. So for example, let's take a look at some of these measurement cups that I have. I don't know why I have so many measurement cups at home, um, but let's look at this one. This is salt. We have granules of salt in this cup here. Salt is a small particle. Well, for particles that we could see with the naked eye. So for example, when we look at these medicine cups that are filled with the salt granules and the beads, you can tell that it would take a lot of salt granules to fill up the same quantity as it would for these smaller silver beads. And then as we progress up to the larger units, I need less of these beads to make up the same level as the other containers that I have here. So looking at unit conversions visually can help you understand why we are multiplying or why we are dividing when we go from a small unit to a larger unit. For example, to go from one gram to one microgram, you know you would have to multiply that one gram by a million. We know that they, it takes a million of these little small salt granules, like for this example, it would take a million of these little salt granules to make up one of these pearl beads of the ones that represent the grams. So with the example that I gave with the grams to micrograms, I know that micrograms are very tiny particles and I know that grams are much larger particles. So if I'm trying to go from grams to micrograms, I know I need a lot more micrograms to equal the same amount of grams. So I know that I'm going to multiply if I'm going from grams to micrograms because I know that one gram, that one little pearl bead, in order to have that same quantity in those salt granules, I know I'm going to get a ton of salt granules, so I know I'm going to multiply as opposed to if I'm working my, the other way around. If I'm trying to go from micrograms to grams, I know that those large quantities of granules of salt, in order to go to equate that to a single bead, I know it's going to be a lot less beads, right? So if you're going from a small unit like micrograms to a larger unit, then you would divide. So hopefully this visual representation is helpful for some of you. I know that it has helped a lot of my students. So that is the reason why small units like micrograms have really large numbers as opposed to large units like kilograms are going to have very small units. And this is going to help you. If you can understand this visually, this is going to help you knowing whether you are going to multiply or divide. So that is one way to look at unit conversions. This is a very short video. I just wanted to explain visually what it would look like when you were looking at unit conversions to try to make sense of it. I know it makes sense for a lot of the students that I have worked with and hopefully it helps you too. So if you're interested in looking at any of my other math related videos and concepts, make sure to check out my other videos and I will see you there.